What is the most stable foundation for your structure? An inner tube, of course. Hey everyone, Coach Scott here again to help you with another instant challenge. Today we're going to do on the tube. For this challenge, we have to build a structure as high as we can on a tube using four straws, three pipe cleaners, two index cards, four mailing labels. The rules for this challenge state that only the materials may be touching the inner tube, and these mailing labels may not be attached to the tube. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is figure out how we're going to get our structure to stand on this tube using our materials. Something like that maybe, something to grab. Got some straws. I have a plan. What I want to do, if you notice, straws actually fit that width pretty nicely. So how about if we make a platform for our structure to stand on? Mailing labels. One important thing to remember about mailing labels is you're allowed to tear them into pieces. You don't have to use them as they are. That's exactly what we are going to do. We're going to take a straw, we're going to tape it down, like so. Let's move this guy out of the way. We're going to put that one there. Use another half a piece. Stick it like so. Now, now we have something flat to build off of instead of something curved. Next thing we need to build up from here. We want something strong. That's kind of flimsy. That's not bad, but it's not very stable. A little trick I'm going to teach you here, something you can use for paper, for cardboard, anytime you have something flat and you want to make something strong, turn it into, fold it in thirds like so, make it into a triangle. Triangles are pretty solid. Of course this one we're going to want to tape together. Once again, let's not waste our tape, our mailing label. So we're going to take this piece, tape it down here on the bottom. Like so. Now it stands. Now, to build some distance, now, to build some height, we want to put a straw in here. We don't want to put the straw all the way down here, we want to put it like right up here, let's say. So, for this, we're going to use a full piece of tape. Because we want it to go around the entire length of this thing. Now, you only want to go halfway. You see that? I'm only putting it on the top half. The reason for that is I can stick the straw in and pinch that tape closed. Now, if you noticed, Stands up. Now we need to get this attached to that. Correct? Show you another little secret. If you tear up these tips right at the end of any cardboard or paper. You have a nice little standing area. And you can take that standing area. Let's see, we got one half. Let's tear this into a half as well. Now, let's tape down each one of these edges. Tape down that edge. Tape down this edge. Tape down that third edge. So just that alone 
we're standing on our two. Looks pretty good. I think we can get it higher. First thing, we've got another straw. Now, if you don't know how you can attach two straws, I'm going to show you. If you take one straw, one point, and you pinch it right in here, and you squeeze it shut, kind of like when you're pinching your nose, you can take that tip, tuck it into another straw. Now check that out. Now we're going to add a little more height with our pipe cleaners. I do want to warn you about something though. When you're doing a challenge, don't try to use every single item to get as tall as possible because that will sometimes make it too tall, too hard to keep stable so it will fall. So we're actually going to start off with two of these. What we're going to do here, I'm going to wrap them together. If you notice, they're kind of flimsy. I take two, wrap them together, just twist them like so. They're a little more stable. Now, what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to take the bottom piece. I'm going to stick that into the straw. And then I'm going to use this piece to wrap it around the actual straw to give it some stability. Okay. So now it's a little more stable. Let's see if it stands. Okay, it's standing. Now, let's see if we can get it to stand on our tube. Look at that. As you can see, our structure is quite high. In fact, it's about 28 inches high, which is very nice. Now I want to show you what I was talking about. When I said you don't have to use every item. If you notice, we have a pipe cleaner left. If we try to get greedy, if we try to attach this to the top, like so, it makes the structure quite unstable. So instead of 28 inches, we have nothing. Well, that's it for today's challenge. Hopefully you learned a few tips today, but remember, just because I did it this way doesn't mean you have to do it this way. The key is to use your imagination and your creativity. In doing that, you will be able to crash through every challenge and obstacle that you come across in life. The rules and details for this challenge are in, in the description below. So if you'd like to try it for yourself, I'd love to see what your structure looks like. So send me a picture at crashingintoimagination at gmail.com. I can't wait to see it.